Fortnite Squad. Yo, what is up guys? It's Vortex and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out this Season 8 Week 6 challenges and how to complete them with a full guide in this video. I would appreciate it if you drop a like, that would be absolutely incredible. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure to do so and turn on bell notifications. Before we begin, I do have to say one thing. Because I am making this video before they officially come out on Thursday, Epic Games can change any of these challenges last minute. If this does happen, I will leave a pinned comment with the changes and how to complete them. So drop a like and let's get started. Starting at number 1, we have Eliminate 3 Opponents at Lazy Lagoon or Frosty Flights. This challenge I would recommend to complete it in a mode that respawns, such as Team Rumble. This way you have the biggest chance at completing all the 3 eliminations. Another tip is if the battle bus goes right over Frosty Flights, just land at Lazy Lagoon so you get a chance to get weapons and get your eliminations. This way it won't be too crowded with others trying to get these challenges done. Unless you're going try hard mode, that's up to you. Starting at number 2 we have Land at Fatal Fields, Lazy Lagoon, Shifty Shaft, Frosty Flights, and Sunny Steps. That's a lot of places to land. I do love these challenges because you get to land in places where you usually avoid. This challenge is by far one of the easiest ones this week. Next challenge, we have get an elimination with a flint knock pistol, or as I like to call it, the yeet pistol, or a boombo. Basically, all you have to do is use the knock pistol or boombo. These might be a little tough, so the best way to go is to use the other weapons to get the player very low, and then finish them off with that weapon. Just to let you guys know, these next challenges are a little more difficult to complete, but I will have the full guide here on how to complete them. Next challenge, we have use two different throwable items in a single match. This challenge sounds easy because it says use, not eliminate or deal damage. So it might be as simple as using items such as impulse grenade, sneak grenade, sneak bombs, or boogie bombs. The next challenge is visit a wooden rabbit, a stone pig, and a metal llama. I've added this map here where you can find all three. As you can see, the wooden rabbit can be found off the west of the map, south of Haunted Hills. The next one is the stone pig which can be found at Lucky Landings. All you have to do is visit each one of these and get it completed. And the last one is the Metal Llama, which if you don't already know, it's by Junk Junction. And the next challenge is visit the 5 highest elevations on the island. This is one of the hard challenges, but I have included all 5 highest elevations here to help you out in completing this challenge. If you are finding this guide helpful, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more weekly challenge guides. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the last and final challenge y'all need to complete is to search where the knife points on the treasure map loading screen. See, we've had a challenge like this in the past where we had to search where the magnifying glass is. Here is the location of where the Battlestar will be located. Now, onto the secret banner location. Finally, to collect the week 6 banner. As you can see in the long screen, the key had the following coordinates, E2, E3, F2, and F3. All you have to do is follow these coordinates. They will lead you to the place where you will be able to collect the secret banner. Keep in mind that this banner will only be visible until you have completed all the challenges. Hopefully this video did help you guys out and gave you a guide on how to complete all the challenges. Once again, if and when these challenges change, I will make sure to pin a message on how to complete them in the video. Drop a like, subscribe, and if you'd like to support me in Fortnite, don't forget to use my supporter credit code, DVORTEX007. Thank you all, peace out.